Welcome to the Western Wilds for my new Let's Play. Episode 1 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Well, I made it. We're here in the Western Wilds. I said we were heading west. It's taken us a couple of days to get here, to be fair. And you might also notice I appear to be on foot. I am. The Land Rover and the trailer were not impounded, but kind of held at customs. Um, I don't know when they're going to come, if they're going to come. Hopefully they will at some point. Now, I've just left the ranger station, been chatting to the ranger. I'm sure you might also notice, top right, I'm $2 in debt. That I did have $2 in my pocket, and I seem to have lost some somewhere. I'm not, but, so I'm in debt. I, that wasn't my plan. I was going to start with a tiny bit, a tiny bit, but it turns out we don't have any money at all. Um, so here's the situation. Talking to the ranger, all of this south of us, it's all open country. There's an old abandoned farm. Been abandoned for quite some time. I have been told by the ranger, if I come across anything, anything I find useful, any scrap, anything at all, I can use it, can make use of it, utilise it however I want. I have also bought a plot of land. I've bought plot 32. I said I would have enough money when I left Carmsden to buy a plot, which I have done. There are a couple of other plots that are owned by other people at the moment because there are things on them. Um... So, what we're going to do is panic, <laughs> because there's no contracts. No contracts. <sighs> oh, happy days. So, um, I'm going to have to work for this, and I? We're going to, I mean, I say that. Uh, I mean, I've, I've got some ideas in my head. So, what we're going to do, um, I'm going to head to the abandoned farm, first of all. We're going to have a look around, because you never know what you might find. Then we're going to head to plot 32. Now, I've also I've already pitched my tent. My tent's already pitched. Um, so I did that, went up to the ranger station, and now... Honestly, now that I'm doing this, I'm a little bit like, oh, what have I done? So, we're going to be doing some logging. I mean, that's kind of inevitable at the moment. I don't really have a lot of choice. We're going to start off with some logging. We're going to take the logs up to the sawmill. Try and make a bit of money. My plan, do I have a plan? My plan is to buy the sawmill. It's not overly expensive. And then we can get planks. Planks we can then sell. We won't have the carpentry, but that'll be a bit of income. Lumber to sawmill to planks. We could just sell the lumber. Or do I just sell the lumber? Oh, so this is it. It's such a dilemma. Because I, we'll see what kind of money we make from... Mind you, there is a sawmill to the south, apparently. So maybe I could buy that one for planks, and then if we want to, we can just take lumber down to the south sawmill and just do that for, for making extra money. Uh, I want to buy a plot open out in, the, out in the open, in the open air. We're going to do some grass work. We'll do grass work for silage to take to the biogas plant. Um, there's methane available. There's gold nuggets that can be dug up. There's, there's a few things we can do. So, yeah, I mean, the thing is, I can start cutting down trees, but unless I'm going to carry one log at a time to the sawmill, um, it's going to get a little bit hairy. So, as I said, I have kind of been tipped the wink by the ranger at the ranger station um, that there, there's some stuff, there's some stuff about that we can utilise. When I say stuff, I don't want people to think, oh, he's just put tons of equipment in, he's, he's just going to cheat. No. <laughs> when you consider I left with a Land Rover and a trailer, at the moment, I'm on foot. <laughs> I mean, at some point, we could clear all this up, maybe. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we could have this as our farm. Who knows? That's what I'm... That's what I was trying to say when I was talking about when I do map tours on maps like this that are... open, shall we say. It can be just as daunting. It, when you start any kind of... <sighs> what, you know... I can go so many different ways with it. And at the moment, I'm not sure where it's going to go. And that's quite cool. Got a trailer. We've got an old trailer. But unless I want to pull that by hand, I'm going to need something to pull it with. So, there's plenty of old animal pens. I mean, that's... Thinking about that, again, it kind of terrifies me a little bit that 
we haven't got an established farm. We haven't got any equipment. We haven't got... You know, the thought of animals seems so far off. I mean, way off in the distance. I mean, possibly we could start off with a chicken pen, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Scary stuff. Ah, that's lucky, isn't it? Mine, look at the state of it. <laughs> what funny, a funny story. I might have told this story before. Um, a couple of friends of mine, <laughs> when, we, when we were all younger, young hooligans, and it was that kind of, you know, people were starting to pass the driving tests and get cars and stuff like that. And most of us knew nothing about cars, nothing about engines, nothing about, you know, it was that kind of, oh, we're going to get a car. So two of my friends, I wasn't with them, went off to get a car, or to look at a car anyway, knowing nothing about them whatsoever. So the guy comes out, takes him out onto the, his, his driveway, and I have a look around the car, and he pops the bonnet. <laughs> so both of them peer in, and my friend Jason looks across at my friend Richard and says, it's got an engine. They had, they, they had no idea what they were looking They couldn't tell if anything was right with it, wrong with it, nothing at all. It's just that amusing thing of the guy was obviously like, you know, let him inspect it kind of thing. In inspect it. They had no, absolutely no idea. But I don't know. I mean, I suppose we can try and start it, can't we? Should we try and start it? Oh, look at the fuel. This could be a problem. Oh, okay. Right. Let's spot it, right? Actually, rather concerned more than that. I'm going to get us out of it. Oh, we've got an open door here. I suppose my next concern is fuel. Because <laughs> it's all well and good using this if I'm going to move some lumber. But, oh, mind those wind mirrors. Oh, looks like the previous farm owner was called Foley. Oh, before I forget, happy birthday, David. Hope you have a great day. Hope you're having a great day. Depends when you watch this, of course. Let's see if we can hook up to that trailer. It's the ground that's bumpy, yeah, so I say, that's... That seems to be rocking quite a bit. Okay, well, we've got a pickup. It's going to need some TLC. It's definitely going to need to clean at some point. And, more worryingly, considering I'm $2 in debt, um, we're going to need to put some fuel in it. Okay. Now, actually, I need, I'm thinking, oh, we'll go and grab the trailer, but we've got the, the back of the pickup, haven't we? Now we can move logs. That's good. Should we go to the campsite? Let's go to our campsite. I suppose what I need to do before I do anything, at least on this episode, is cut down some trees and try and get some money at the sawmill. We need to try and make a bit of money. Then as you can imagine, on any Let's Play, any story where I've been doing login, off camera, you can imagine I'm going to be doing a fair bit of login. At least to get some money to start off with. And we'll kind of see where we go from there. There's going to be a lot of hours thrown at this, that's no two ways about it. Uh, we've got 32... Should have got the map out. There we go. Oh no, look, the fuel's got into the red. We're in the red. That should last us a little bit though, shouldn't it? Please tell me it lasts us a little bit. We'll 
trailer's certainly in better nick than the uh, pickup. What a bumpy old road, isn't it? Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm driving this pickup and I'm thinking, do I want my Land Rover? I do want my Land Rover, but this is. I like this. Oh, hang on a minute. I've just realised. How do I. We might need to put a bridge in at some point. If we cut down some trees, cut down some lumber. Make up a little chainsaw mill, maybe. Mill some boards. I tell you what, of all, of all the um, YouTubers I watch, and I watch quite a few, I've said that before. There's a guy called Sean James, up in Canada I watch. Built a log cabin quite some time ago, now probably three, four years ago. Um, and he's just moved to a new site and he started to build his new log cabin, a bigger one, because his wife lived in sort of the same city, but um, he's building a larger cabin so his wife can come and live with him and that kind of thing. But I've, uh, that's something I would absolutely love to do. I would love to. I've said to Mrs. Sleepy before, it's one of those things of why would I need one? Those portable sawmills, like a trailer sawmill, just to be able to cut down your own lumber, mill it up, and build. I just, that to me is brilliant. Having built the man cave, and I know it's a tiny project, and using old pallet wood, and there's just something very cool about, you know, when you finish doing something and look up and think, I did that, you know, that's, that's amazing. We talked for a long time, we used to watch a lot of programs about Alaska. There was Alaska Railroad, and I can't remember what the other one was called now. There were two or three we used to watch. Oh, there was one about a family. What were the family called? Um, and it was brilliant. And um, we, we both said, I'd love to go. I mean, yeah, it can be harsh. Well, the weather can be harsh. And um, something we were talking about the other day. We're here. Here's our tent. This is our campsite. And this is plot 32. We have some woodland. So we've got trees we can cut down. We have an old pickup now. We have a trailer. I have a chainsaw. That's it. <laughs> That's what we start with. Two dollars in debt. Tent, pickup, trailer and a plot of land. What I want to do before we leave here is build a thriving community. Whether it be thriving industry, whether it be you know, a little township, or I'm not, you know, I don't know where we're going to go with it, but I, I just, the whole thought now is, brain, you know, we can go anywhere with this. That's my plan. Such that it is. And if you know me, you'll know that will change at a moment's notice. I was going to say something else then, and it's, it's I've done it again, it's gone out my head. It might come to me at some point. Oh, yeah, um, we've had a problem recently with um, mice um, and a particularly large rat that keeps appearing in the back garden it hasn't come in the house but we keep seeing it in the back garden Mr. P has a bird feeder and the birds knock the feed off onto the floor and this thing keeps appearing and we've put out rat traps we put out all sorts of stuff and nothing caught a couple of mice you know but anyway I was watching Sean James building his log cabin the other day and um, <laughs> he was putting up like rustic fencing that stuff will then grow up around it so it becomes a natural barrier because he's trying to stop moose and stuff coming into where the cabin itself is and he's got some allotments and he's growing stuff and what he? which is great and he was talking about so we, we've got a mouse and problem with a few mice and, and this one rat and he was saying you know it's not going to stop the moose and obviously the bears if they really want to get through it they can but then obviously there's still raccoons there's minks there's and I'm thinking, <laughs> we're like oh no we've got this really pesky rat when you're dealing with bears and moose and raccoons and you know so it's that thing of yeah we could move to alaska but then there's also the mm, there's a lot of you know where i live in the uk there's not really much scary there's not many predatory type animals <laughs> that we have to worry about so anyway that being said i'm having too much fun I suppose I should start on the outskirts, but I don't want to drop a tree on my tent. That probably wouldn't be the best of ideas, would it? Is, um, let's just get a tree down, I guess. Get some logs. Move the, I don't really want to move the pick up too much, but we've got a, I want to get a McCulloch. We've got a McCulloch chainsaw. Uh, I'm going to drop it out, actually. We'll drop it out that way. So we're right on the edge of our property boundary. And then I'm going to have to worry later on about coming in, stump grind, all that kind of thing. We don't have a stump grinder, nothing like that. And then 
I mean, I know there's, there's no kind of... I, I have been talking a little bit, but we've just got to get straight on with it. I mean, I, I you know... All fancy starts to the Let's Plays and that kind of thing. That's great, and it is, and we've kind of... We've, we've started. But we need to crack on. I need some... I need some money. If I'm going to feed myself... Oh... That's all right. That dropped right on the uh, right on the boundary. Right. So the question now is: I reckon we're going to be looking at one meter length. Probably can probably take the um, map off. I reckon one meter logs will get away with. Maybe. So I suppose the thing's going to be now. Uh, what we need is no. I need field info on so we can see our log lengths 0 0.8 meters okay so that wasn't quite a meter so i'm going to come a little bit further maybe this time Not 0.9 i was close then hopefully we can get um larger chunks as we move forward i want to take one tree up if we can get one tree loaded onto the trailer and the pickup and just see what we'll get for a tree. I don't think it's going to be a huge amount. Then we need to get to a point where... You know, I said I was going to buy... Um, okay, hang on a minute. Oh, no. Is it charging me for using the chainsaw? What? I'm now down to mine's $8. Is that fuel for the chain? It can't be. I've, I need to earn some money. This is crazy. Yep. <laughs> Every cut I make, I'm falling further into debt. Oh, it's actually 50 cents per cut. Because every two... No, I've gone down again. It, it's obviously just fuel, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I need to make at least $10 per tree, otherwise I'm going to be in trouble. I completely forgot about that. It's one of those things that when you've got a bit of money, you don't really, you know, you don't notice when you're hiring workers and... You know, when you've made thousands and you've got loads and you've, you're doing contracts that are 30 grand a pop kind of thing, it doesn't cross your mind that these smaller expenses exist. I know it sounds, it sounds kind of arrogant, doesn't it? But you do get to that point where you're earning enough money that you think, OK, well, that's good, but I haven't got to worry about that. Um, will that fit in there? Oh. Maybe I should... Whoa, hang on. It doesn't like that particularly. I know what I'll do. Let's hop in there and trailer I'm just going to drag it behind a little bit but that's probably going to be the best bet isn't it should put it the other way around but we do have straps on there so we should be alright ok well we're making a start <laughs> I'm just thinking as well, we'll see what we end up with, what we earn. We may well have to um, get some fuel as well. But it will give us a gauge. <laughs> this is the terrifying bit. It will give me a gauge as to how much money I'm going to need to earn. Um, if like one tree I'm getting a grand, I know I'm going to have to do so much work. If it's more than that, then okay, happy days. We can kind of move from there. It's just the not knowing at the moment. I, I just don't know where we're going to be at, you know. Just thinking we might get lucky and get a couple of trees worth, you know. If I stick these on the end, is that gonna come out of there? Might be alright. And we'll load the pickup bed as well. Just go from there really. I'm gonna see you in a minute. Let's get so I'm gonna to wanna to get some more of these loaded on. Maybe I'll stick some on top of it. Um we'll get maybe I might do a couple of trees, like I say, and then we'll go from there. We'll go up to the sawmill before the end of this episode. I don't know how long the episodes are going to be, in all honesty. I know I always say that, you know, every Let's Play I do, these can be shorter. And I started off when I was doing Fruiling. I'm still doing Fruiling, but um, on Fruiling saying, oh, the episode's going to be shorter. And they were to start off with. And then the last one I did, I think, was 54 minutes. So, you know, you know me. 
<laughs> you know how I like to operate. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. Um, they may be shorter episodes, each one, and we can get a load more in. And then um, by the end of this episode, I want to have to run up to the sawmill, sold some lumber, and bought some fuel. At least that's where I want to be at. I don't want to overload this trailer too much. So, yeah. Stick one in here. I'll put the straps on. And then I'll fill up the tray at the um, pickup bed as well. <sighs> Last thing I want to do is drive up there and the axles on the trailer just twang. That could be something of a problem. I don't know if I'm going to get another one there, am I? Maybe not. Let's sit one there. Okay. That's as far as I'm going with that. And that. Do I put another one there? Yeah, better add. Right then, I might be just a little bit overloaded. I've got two full trees on trees on here. One was a little bit longer than the other when I cut them. It's weird. Every time I get back into the pickup, the fuel seems to be back in the green again. As I start to drive, it drops to red. Anyway, Northern Sawmill. That's where we're heading. We'll get rid of this. I'm now $21 in debt. So hopefully, this will cover that. I hope so. And then we can get a bit of fuel. Now, what I was going to say, and I started to say earlier on, um, I was going to buy a wheel loader or a tally handler or something along those lines wasn't it that was kind of the plan to bring with me on the trailer and i never did it and i just suddenly realized that, that looks just a and i love the the bump in the suspension on the back of that pickup anyway um yeah i never did it and that was the plan so i was going to have something that would make my life easier because i knew when i came here i'd be doing logging and i knew it'd be with a chainsaw but i thought if i brought something with me like a tally handler or a skid steer loader or uh, I could cut longer lengths to be able to pick them up and then probably didn't do it. So potentially the Land Rover will pop up at some point, it will arrive and so will the trailer, but I still haven't got, yeah, so I, am, I really am now, I've put myself in a bit of a tricky situation. So I'm going to have to do a fair bit of logging to be able to afford to then buy, I mean, I mean that's the plan, you know, moving forward as well, isn't it? I need to improve and expand on the equipment I've got, the gear I've got, make my life easier. The logging will become easier the more I earn. But I'm going to have to do quite a few trips like this, I think. This is the scary bit. This is the bit where you're not quite sure. And, and I'm going to take this and we'll get there. I'll unload, and I've said this before when I've done logging, I'm either going to be blissfully happy really really surprised at how much we've earned or I'm going to be really really disappointed and I'm going to realise that I've got so much work to do. I've got a lot of work to do regardless but pickup's doing alright at some point we'll jet wash it I'm not you know it doesn't matter at the moment so yeah, we'll go north with these first and then I might do a load south. I don't see any reason at all why the prices would be much different. Obviously, the tree heights, there are going to be some trees which are different heights than others. And like I said, both of these were almost the same. One was a little bit longer, but not by much. So there's always going to be a little bit of variance. And generally speaking, the rule of thumb is the longer the logs, the better the price, that kind of thing. But we'll see. I'm just really impressed with my stacking <laughs> awesome and I think getting a logging trailer with you know one of the is it HWATs because they've got a regular pin hitch so I could pull that with the still pull that with the pickup maybe that would be the next expense as well maybe get a larger trailer because that's got two axles and it won't put as much weight on the rear trailer hitch it means I'll be able to move more lumber in one go then if I can do that, maybe a couple of trips and then afford to get a skid to loader or a telehandler. I might go with a small telehandler, not one of the larger ones. It's not a huge amount of price difference in them all, actually. We'll have a look and we'll see what's available locally. 
There is a slurry yard here, which is quite handy. That's going to be further down the line. I've also been thinking about, you know, I said about logging and, you know, we can do some um, some um, planks and obviously we're looking at the biogas plant. But there's obviously all the options with regards to wood chipping. There's all the options with, there's different factories that may be available with regard to paper, cardboard production. Um, there's the one that does wooden beams. We can do a whole load of stuff with wood and wood chips other than just furniture. So it's, it's a different avenue to go down. As far as the farming goes, I wanted to do stuff with potato. The problem we've got is until the pallet limit gets changed, um, we've got a bit of an issue. We're going right to the end. Yeah, we've got a bit of an issue. I could also, I know obviously up there, I know where there's one gold nugget at least. And if we go to the little, uh, the gold hut, we can look at the map. Now, um, Jim has put out, oh yeah, he put out a post saying there's an update in for this or going in for this. There's one nugget you can't get that he's going to put in and get that changed. The trees, you can't plant any or place any more trees at the moment because it's on 11,000 trees on the map, I think. And he's changing it so it comes down to 7,000, but it will need a new save game. So I'm, I haven't done too much on the map. Um, like I say, a couple of cell points, that slurry yard, and that's it. That's really all I've done. Um, what we need to do now, I think it's in front of that log pole there, but just to double check, let's do that. Yeah. What's it here? That's where pallets go. So right, we're going to go here. Right, if I take straps off now, is everything going to fall off? No, nope, we're good. Okay. The moment of truth. Two trees, first full load. That can't be right. No way! Um... I think what map was it I did? It was one of the Black Sea modding ones where I did lumber, and in the winter, obviously, the price went through the roof anyway. And I was getting like five, six grand a tree, and at one point, went up to like nine grand. That was two trees. That means one tree is worth 1,300. That can't be right. I'll be here forever. Okay, well, as I said, <laughs> it's either going to be really, really good news or really, really bad. That is really, really bad. Um, I don't know how much, as far as literage goes, that would have been, because until we buy the, the um, sawmill, I won't know how much was there. I'm going to take the pickup. We're going to head south down to the fuel station. I need to put some fuel in the pickup, whatever we do. Put some fuel in the pickup, and I now need to contemplate next steps because that's. that's untenable. So, who is it? Somebody messaged me and said that it might be from Farmer Foley actually. To say that they've done a few runs backwards and forwards and they've got earned about 18 grand. Based upon that price, I'm going to be on this doing logging off camera every hour of the day just to make enough money to make ends meet. I mean, yeah, it's not going to be mega money, it never was, but. <sighs> Can you tell I'm panicking? <laughs> Ever so slightly. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, we need to get a wood trailer. So I think what I'm going to have to do, well, I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to do a few more trees, get the money up. We'll have a look and see if there's a log trailer available. But the problem is to, to get um, I mean, skid still OG, looking at 50, 60 grand. Unless I can find a really cheap one. The beauty was on FS19. 
because we had that situation where there were so many mods have been released at that point and there was a few front loader, skidster loader, tell you handler mods and there was that one that I used on Helmerkra which was like eight grand to buy and that thing was brilliant with the rear weight on it that I could lift all sorts of stuff that was fantastic I am now yeah really worried anyway we're heading south right to the south if you watch the map tour you'll know the fuel station's down here we're going to head down I don't want to resort to grabbing gold nuggets because I could and just say okay we're all right let's buy whatever I need but I want this to be you know I need to plug away I need to do some work So here's the other sell point for, for lumber. What I'll probably do, I'm going to do another load, two trees, bring it down here. I don't see that the price would be any different, but you never know. Oh no, it's here, isn't it? It's over here. Fuel station around the corner. <laughs> what have I done? Oh, oh, it's intense, man. It's intense. There we go. How much does that cost us to fill up? $96. That's alright. Okay, so we've still got some money. We have a fuel tank and a full tank. Don't have to worry about that at the moment. Let's just have a look. I don't know what, what we've got available. I can't remember. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's a warble in my voice. <laughs> There is that. Okay, 3,800. That's doable. We've got the timber carriers, but I haven't got anything to carry them with, so that's not going to help very much. So that's probably the next buy. Another full load will give me enough to buy that. Maybe we could sell the small trailer, get that wood trailer. That will help. But then obviously I haven't got anything to pick lo large logs with. Um, and I could go, these are a bit more expensive to say the least, with a crane arm which means I wouldn't need something else. I could just use the crane arm on it. If we go to vehicles and then we look to, I mean, even if we go to front loaders, I mean, yeah, 60, 70, that's 30, but it's quite small. Not a wheel load. Oh, no, there's the, that's 114, forget it. Telehandlers, there's the small Schaefer, the little Manitou, 75 grand. Yeah, whatever we do, we're going to have to do quite a bit of work. 35 for the small, maybe. The problem is they, not, so they don't lift huge amounts of weight. Although, let's have a look. Do they have a rear hitch? No, they don't, do they? And so we could put um, a weight on those because we've got the various different weights that will attach to things. But that's not going to work. Um, <laughs> Uh, tally truck, 48 grand. Forklift's not going to work, but that might. Potentially. I don't know. Right. At least if we get a timber trailer, even if I'm still doing small logs, I can get a load more on. I won't have to do as many trips back as well. We've got an extra sale point there. Ooh, okay. Right, I'm going to go back, I'm going to cut another couple of trees, and we're going to bring them south this time. So I'll see you when the, 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 we're loaded up again. We'll come down here, we'll sell another load, and then hopefully we'll have enough to get that small timber trailer. I'll have a look and see what else is available, we'll have to have a, a real scour around now. This is going to be, I mean this is the, the point isn't it? Start from scratch stuff, you've got to start with the small gear and gradually work your way up. That's the only way we're going to get away with this. Actually, what I need to do is cut across before we get to the river, and then we'll get to the campsite, and then I've got across the river further up. I think, yeah. yeah, and we'll gradually work our way up. It's going to be a slow, slow burn, but we will hit that point where you, you always do. 
on, on any map you're on, whatever you're doing, any farm, you will hit that point where there's that tipping point. The snowball has reached capacity, it's reached the largest size it's going to be and it will start to roll on its own. Is that a good enough metaphor? Does that make sense? Um, but yeah, that, that will happen. And it's happened every Let's Play. You work and work and work and work and work and work and then you get to a point you think, okay, now we're making money. And you're making money without having to do as much work and as much effort because you've got productions and things that are chugging away. We are by no means there yet. Right, let's go to the side here. Take a couple of these down. Actually, let's do that. Put that down. <sighs> I'm starting from in cab, in car. This pickup is becoming my new best friend. I love it because I think <laughs> I've overloaded it even more. I think I got two and a half or three and a half trees in. Cut the first couple of trees I cut were a lot shorter. I think they were 17 meter. But let's have a look. <laughs> I've turned my pickup into a log cabin. But look at it. It just it just keeps going. I think I'm bottoming out, bottoming out the suspension at the back. Climbing. <laughs> but we should get more this time. Now obviously this sawmill down the bottom, southern sawmill, is not a production chain one. I don't think it is. So if, by selling lumber here, yes we're going to get more this time because I've got more logs on here. But obviously we're not getting any logs into the production chain, which is another reason why going to the north is a better option. Because if I do buy it and we start making planks, at least the planks will be stored, whereas these will kind of just disappear into the ether because they're just going to the sell point. But the other thing I'm thinking, there is a mobile saw, isn't there? The mobile cutter, wood cutter, wood saw. If I get that and bring that over to the where I'm working, then I haven't even got to do transportation. I could just pile it all up. Actually, you know what? That's not a bad idea, is it? I could do that maybe moving forward. Right, well, let's see, shall we? It's got to be enough. It has to be enough for us to be able to get the... Uh, <laughs> the front axle is bouncing. We're just off the ground. Uh, straps off. Uh, that straps off. Ooh. Oh, there we go at the back. Okay, right. Come on now. Big payout. Okay, it's better than the first one was. 6912. I think I might have ruined the suspension though. There we go. Uh, trailer. Let's fold that back up again. I suppose what I could have done. No, not that one. Um, if I'd have put the trailer down, the. Oh no, can I do that with the trailer attached? Anyway, put the rear thing down, I could have put longer logs on. So, as we can see, that's now, what, five logs? Five and a bit, and we're on not even 7,000. This is a concern. But, <laughs> it's my concern to worry about. I'll have to think about what I'm going to do next. I'm definitely going to get that trailer, I think. You know what? Should we, bought, should we buy it now? Should we get it now? Is that jumping the gun a little bit? For the price, we'd be mad. Absolutely mad not to. I'll just get it. I don't want to go. It's only $100 for having chunkier tyres on it. Oh, that's standard with them on. Well, we'll go with those. Uh, rim colour. It's on silver already. 3800 Let's buy it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go up to the store, collect that. <laughs> so at the start of the next episode, you may see there may be, may be a little kind of montage of clips or something of me delivering trailer loads or something. I can't believe we're down to 3,112. But, you know, we started off and I was $2 in debt. Then we dropped down to $21 in debt. We're not in debt anymore. That at least is one positive. My plans in my head of, oh, I'll do a few loads of lumber, we'll buy the sawmill, we'll do a few more, we'll buy the biogas plant. <laughs> it may take a little bit longer than that, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed it.
there's so much we can do. So, I uh, just honestly, there's all the various different wood chipping bits that we get. It's not all going to be forestry. We are going to do farming. We're going to plow the land. We are going to do some mowing. We're going to do some silage work. We're going to hopefully make some gold. We're going to produce some methane. We're going to do all sorts of cool stuff. Um, if you have enjoyed it, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.